Following the joint drills between South Korea and the U.S., trilateral maritime exercises are set to begin involving the two allies and Japan. Now, this show of alliance will come for the first time in half a year. What does it mean for the Korean Peninsula? For more, let's turn to Mr. Frank Zanuzzi, president of DeMarin and Mike Mansfield Foundation. Welcome to the program. Good morning. Good morning. First off, what is the significance of joint exercises between the three sides coming at this time of the year? Well, these trilateral exercises are really a crit critical show of alliance solidarity in the face of North Korean missile launches and other provocative behavior. As you well know, and as I think your viewers also fully appreciate, for many years, the ROK Japan US triangle has suffered from difficulties in the ROK-Japan relationship. And as President Yoon and Prime Minister Kishida have moved closer together in the face of common security threats, uh, these trilateral exercises reflect a new spirit of solidarity uh, and uh, resilience in the face of a continued North Korean missile launches, including last year's record-setting 75 missile launch events. Right. Speaking of missile launches from North Korea, the month of March, last month, was full of North Korean provocations. Now, should we expect more of the same in April, especially following the trial letter drill, which is set to begin today? I mean, what kind of threats are we um, are likely to come from the North? Well, it's important to appreciate that what we see as a provocation from the North, they see as a response to allied defensive drills. And I'm sure that from Pyongyang, the allied military exercises themselves, which are defensive in character, appear to be provocative. So I think it's essential that we appreciate what the North is and is not doing. I don't think they're trying to provoke a response. I think they're trying to demonstrate their own readiness in the face of a very difficult security situation for Pyongyang. Uh, that said, we should expect more of the same, as long as the United States and its allies continue to ensure that we are prepared for any eventuality on the peninsula. The North Koreans will do the same. And what is really necessary here is a diplomatic strategy to complement uh, the strong defensive posture uh, that President Biden, President Yoon, and Prime Minister Kishida are forging in Northeast Asia. Right. As you just mentioned, um, the summit, the, the drill also comes after the summit between South Korean leader Yoon Sagar and his Japanese counterpart Fumio Gishira. Now, what do the Seoul, Washington, Tokyo joint training say about the trilateral ties and cooperation between the three countries? Will there be more drills like this in the near future? What do you think? I think there will be. At a Mansfield Foundation Track 2 meeting last summer held in Hawaii with thought leaders from all three countries, uh, it was very clear uh, that we have shared security interests, shared values, and shared economic interests, which are going to be pursued uh, a, a, into the future. And I believe that uh, the trilateral military exercises that we are seeing now in the naval theater uh, will be matched by missile defense uh, exercises, uh, as well as intelligence sharing, uh, deepening of communications links, uh, use of satellites and other uh, devices in order to monitor North Korean ballistic missile activity, and so on. So I think you will see a tightening of the triangular relationship among the three countries. And I think that this will bolster uh, both the extended nuclear deterrence of the United States as well as the conventional deterrent power of the three allied nations. Right. It is a rare show of alliance between the three countries, so we'll keep a close eye on that. All right, Mr. Uh, President Adenuzi, for, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you very much. <laughs>